In this tutorial I'm going to show you uh, how to build a reachability graph of a Petri net. And I'm explaining this by exercising an example. Okay, let's look at the example. We've got a Petri net with a six possible places and some transitions. Well, let's go ahead and because the beginning of the reachability graph is straightforward. Okay, first of all, I created a bubble to resemble the initial marking. Uh, it's called M10. It's kind of a free name, the numbers. Um, okay, the numbers in the brackets here resemble E in place each, and um, this is could be read as place one is marked, place two is not, place three is not, place four is not, and so on. Okay, we're now um, looking forward to uh, the next possible markings, we will see that um, from P1, uh, from M10, there's only T1. Uh, fireable, activatable. Okay, by activating uh, T1 we can we go to the next uh, possible bubble which is now called M11 and in M11 we've got now P2 and P5 marked. By uh, going further to the next um, marking um, we will notice that here are three possible transitions and so we have to build three new bubbles in our reachability graph. I um, activate all three of them now and explain them now. Okay, by activating T2 we go from M11 to M12. Uh, in M12 there's P place 3 marked and place 5. Okay, but by firing T3 we can go to M15 where now place 2 is still marked and place 6 is marked. But uh, there's another transition which could be activated and we go ahead to M13 by firing T5. Okay, now we checked all of the uh, possible transitions from M11 and go to the next step. And now we look at M12 where place 3 and place 5 is marked. Um, from here we can um, go further to another new bubble uh, which is called M16 where place 3 and place 6 is marked. Okay, this is achieved by activating T3. But um, we can uh, Activate T4 also, and uh, with activating T4, we go down to M13 again. Okay, now we've checked all two of the possible transitions from M12, so we go ahead and take a look at M13. In M13, there's uh, P4 and P5 marked. And we see that there's only one possible uh, transition to a new, another new bubble, which is called M14, and it's achieved by activating T3. Okay, now we've uh, Finished M13 and go to another to another next uh, step. In M14, when P4 and P6 are marked, um, we've got 
still just one transition which could be activated and with activating t6 we go back to our initial marking good and now we've checked all possible transitions from m14 and now we look take a look at m15 in m15 we see that there's possible that T2 or T5 could be activated. By activating T2, we go down to M16. And by activating T5, we jump down to the last bubble. Okay. Uh, now we've checked for M15 both uh, possible transitions. And now we go ahead to checking for M16. In M16, we've got just one possible transition and we could reach the last bubble by activating T4. Okay, and this is now the reachability graph of this PetriNet. I hope. I helped you to understand this solution. Thanks for watching.